Hi, my fellow screenwriting enthusiasts. It's Paul from Small Town Movie Critic. Now, if you're new to the channel, we're all about helping you write that kick-ass screenplay by giving you tips, tools, inspiration, and product reviews. Now, in today's video, we're going to be showing you my top nine screenwriting software for 2021. And as you look at the software, I want you to think about what would work best for your budget, the features that you need as a writer, and your own personal workflow. Because at the end of the day, the most important thing is writing the script. And to help achieve that, you need to be using the software that makes it easier for you to accomplish this goal. Now, there are several other there, there are several other brands outside of these nine. So if you don't like these particular choices that I highlight today, there's still plenty more to, out, to, to discover online. And for simplicity's sake, I'm going to take you through this list sort of from the cheapest to the most expensive option. And you could have done this in any other typical way, but I thought this would be helpful for you, especially those who are on a budget as I was when I first was starting out my screenwriting career. Now our first screenwriting software comes in at one of the most inexpensive costs, which is it's free. Yeah, not too bad of a price, huh? Uh, you might be asking yourself, what's the name of this gem? It's called Studio Binder. And it's found at studiobinder.com and I'll put that link uh, right here or up here somewhere in the video. And uh, everything else will be also listed uh, down in the comment section of the video as well. Again, as with all my videos, I do not get any affiliate links. Uh, I do not get paid for saying any of this. I'm just doing this uh, because I, as a, as a as a beginning screenwriter, it would have been helpful to have someone sort of lay out what works for folks or just some of the different options that you can have. Now you're probably asking, why is this software coming out for free? Well, believe it or not, the focus of the software is not actually screenwriting. It's about the rest of the production of the film. It helps with putting together budgets, shooting schedules, getting people involved with the project, etc. Because of this, the, because the focus of the software um, is for this type of production type of needs for a film, the screenwriting software is a little bare bones. Now, however, it does have a nice graphical interface up at the top that does all the auto formatting for you. Uh, it really looks easy to use. I have not used it myself uh, yet, but it really looks uh, pretty easy. You can add some of the other nice things you can put in file formats from other types of software programs into this software and it auto formats it for you for use within Studio Binder. And this is nice if you're working with another writer who's sending you stuff like a, from a Word doc, maybe a PDF or a final draft format. It also works as a type of Google doc if you want to do online collaborating with other folks where you can send it to folks, have them edit it and view comments within the document. Uh, finally, it's it has a convenient way to store different versions of your script that's easily manageable. So if you're looking for a budget-friendly software without without any frills, I would uh, tell you to take a look at this one. Again, you can check the website for more information. Um, and uh, we'll head on to our second software. And this is for all you Mac lovers out there. And I know that's uh, myself is included in that because I, I love Macs. Um, and it's called Highland 2. And you can find it at this web address. And you can also find it on the online Apple Store, uh, either on your... Uh, for your Mac uh, uh, I, uh, desktop. Now this piece of software comes in with a base price of being free and a pro price of a one-time fee of $69.99. The good thing is that you don't have to pay the pro price if, if you don't want a bunch of features. Now the base piece of software doesn't contain a lot of frills over the base functions. Um, basically it has a couple things like it has a screenplay template, it has two built-in type of themes for the uh, for, for use for, for typing. Uh, it has a dark theme and a classic theme and then auto backups. It does have two very interesting features that I want to bring to your attention that is in the free version. And the first is that it can do a gender analysis on your script telling you how many times male and female characters speak. Secondly, it comes with a challenge mode where you can challenge yourself to a word count or a sprint mode where you go for a certain period of time, which I thought was helpful uh, from the perspective that uh, if, if, you, if you need some type of motivation uh, to help with writing, that might be one thing to help uh, do that. So I thought that was a, a very interesting feature. Now, one note of caution for the free version that you that may be a deal breaker is that anything you export will have a watermark on it. Now, if you decide to upgrade for that one-time fee of $69.99, your exports will not have the watermark. You will have a lot, access to a lot more different themes for sort of the background of the, the editor. You'll have a revision mode, which helps in tracking down different colors for characters and other elements. As a word analysis mode, which helps in making sure that you're being you're using constant, you're, you're being constant in your word use and helps with repetition. Again, check out their website for more information. Our third one on the list is Scrivener, found at this address up here. 
It comes in at an affordable $49, though you will have to pay for all major updates, but not any of the minor ones. This is one of the first writing programs I used when I first started screenwriting. Scrivener is a very powerful program. It's one that is very versatile. Now, many of the screenwriting softwares we'll be looking at today are only for screenwriting. Scrivener can be used for writing a book, writing a play, an article, etc. Uh, what I loved about Scrivener was it felt like a binder. I could put images into my document. I could create a research section for my document. I could even put up a virtual corkboard where I can move notes around on its virtual uh, back background. Um, and it's very powerful. It has a very powerful word editor and its templates, and it has great templates for screen writing screenplays. Now, for me, the reason I went away from this, it felt more like a writing tool than a screenwriting tool. Excuse me. In my eyes, this hurt it, its use for what I needed. What I needed it for. It's a great program, though. And if you're looking for a powerful program that's good in many different forms of writing, I think this is a great pick. It also has a very generous free trial. It only counts the days you actually use the program. So if you only use the program sparingly for three months, you could still be in, in the free trial uh, aspect of that. Number four is Fade In, found in at, coming in at $79.95, it is one of the least expensive software solutions. The nice thing about this software is that the price includes all of the updates forever uh, with just that price of $79.95. Um, which is pretty rare in screenwriting software. Now, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles that some software has, but it does have a good core amount of features which sur surpass the two free versions of, of screenwriting software we've looked at earlier, and is very uh, comparable to uh, Scrivener as well. Now, the main focus of the software is just making sure it's easy for you to write. And to help set it apart from other screenwriting programs, it has a no distraction mode where everything but the script sort of moves into the dark background. Like, it's, it has a very it's very similar to a feature that I saw in Scrivener. I found it pretty helpful at times when my desktop seemed to be occupying my thoughts. Now the rest of the features are pretty standard fare for software uh, that, has been, has, that has a price tag attached to it. It has a fully featured application interface, which is able to use across a wide array of platforms from phones, uh, both Android and iOS, uh, iPads, and to desktops. It also has a lot of formatting options and includes uh, autocomplete typing as well, and you know uh, other good quality of life issues for us screenwriters as well. Uh, and I just want to add one more thing to the, also having such a, a, a wide, uh, different array of platforms to use. This is one of the only platforms that does that, it seems like, that has such a wide variety of different platforms that can use this particular program. So I think that's, again, if you are if you have multiple devices that you're using, um, Fade In has one of the best uh, cross-platform support. So something just to keep in mind. Now, the one area, in my opinion, <coughs> that the software suffers is if you like to post stuff like on a virtual corkboard, like what we talked about with Scrivener. Now, I'm a very visual person, and, and, and I do this if, with my own writing of scripts. Now, there's nothing in the program that allows you to do this uh, type of uh, visual uh, placing of objects, virtual note cards, on a virtual corkboard. So if that's important to you, uh, this is not offered in this particular program. And as I've talked to you before, most of the screenwriting software programs have a free trial. So if you have a remote interest in this program at all, I would invite you to download it and give it a try. It is a good bang for the buck. Now coming in at number five is Arc Studio Pro, which has an annual subscription fee of $49.99. And it can be found at this web address here. Now six pros for the software is it's, it's very easy to use visual interface. It's very much uh, similar to when I talked to Studio Binder, having that nice graphical interface to use. They have cards that you can use for your research and to move around. Again, that, that virtual corkboard that we talked about. They have something called an arc mode where you can drag your beat on a timeline and see how it changes the pace and organization of the story. Again, something a great feature for people who are visual, very visual people when they come to their writing. Uh, you can do all your collaboration in real time. It's got worry-free editing. And they have this great feature which captures every time you do an edit, you can go back in time and change the edit or bring the text in that you deleted um, which I think has been a time saver. I think a lot of times people um, forget they like a, a series of text or they forget that they have they uh, have deleted a set of text. And this feature is, I think, wonderful if you're if you've ever, if you're ever concerned that you can't get back what you've deleted. And finally, number six, they have a nice feedback management system where people can leave feedback in the middle of the script so that you you don't have to hunt around for it. So meaning uh, if you if they say something on page 32, you don't have to hunt around in different emails and look for it. It'll be on page 32 at that exact point where they're ha uh, giving you that feedback. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the current price is $49.99, uh, but at some point they're going to raise the price to about $100 a year. 
Uh, granted, that's just like paying for a yearly upgrade for Final Draft, so it's still a pretty good price. However, if you don't want to pay a yearly uh, subscription fee, this might not be the software for you. Number six is Writer's Duet, found here. Writer's Duet has many of the same functionalities as we've seen previously. Its greatest claim to fame is everything is in the cloud. They also have a lot of tools for collaboration. One of the interesting things I found this, besides working on a script in real time with your partner, you can also video chat with them as uh, right through the program. I thought that was a very interesting twist on real time uh, collaboration. The other bonus for Writer's Duet is its pricing. The free version gives people three uh, free scripts, uh, no time limit for their scripts, and no export or import limits. It has, and it also has uh, the most uh, aggressive pricing tiers from there. I don't know if aggressive is the right word, but it's it's got the most pricing tiers. Maybe that's probably more what I want to say. And there's some flexibility with this as well as as you can do monthly or annual billing. So I think uh, in terms of different price models, this has probably the best price model of any of the softwares that we've seen so far. Now for their Plus membership, you're looking at about $60 a year, which comes with writing as many scripts as you'd like and not capping the number of co-writers on a script. Uh, the Pro level is at $89.04, which comes with all the previous uh, tier stuff, as well as Pro Tools and Analytics, as well as it being offered as both an online and offline software package. And finally, the, the premium version is $119.04. Uh, Again, that $0.04 cents is really important. <laughs> I don't know how they ended up on that uh, price, but it, but that yeah, I just think it's weird that they didn't have it just rounded out to zero. But uh, with the $119.04 package, uh, you get all the bells and whistles, which is basically a multi-column tool that you can use, templates, read-through, and auto-translate. Now, sadly, Writer's Duet's webpage doesn't really expand on its features of the program. It's a very minimalistic sort of website. Um, however, again, it offers a free trial. So give it a, So if you think that fits you in any way, give it a try, 30 days, and, and just see what it feels like and what it looks like for you and your workflow. Continuing our online journey, we have CELTX at number seven, which can be found at this web address here. Again, this is another cloud-based program, so you can access it anywhere you have an internet signal. And as of the writing of this video, they're offering 50% off all their prices. So it can be, so it used to cost about $180 a year, but right now it costs just $84. Now this is not a program through me or anything. That's just what the website's offering. So again, I don't get a cut of any of this. I think it has to do with more Black Friday sales or just end of the year sales. Now, like our first studio, our software program, Studio Binder, it's designed to be an all-in-one program for managing shoots, budgets, etc. The nice thing about Celtex is that it is also used for video games and other media like ads. So there are different price tiers again for these tools as you would need them. The most expensive being a tie between the video production and game production, which costs uh, about $13 a month, uh, which is $156 annually right now. Um, which is the 50% off cost, and normally it would cost $27 a month or $324 annually. So if you're thinking of writing more for video games, then I would probably pick up the software. It seems to have more uh, a better tools, uh, uh, a more better toolbox for people who are thinking about writing for video games. Number eight is Movie Magic Screenwriter, found at this web address up here. Normally this would cost you about $245, but as of this video, it's on sale for $99. Movie Magic Screenwriter is sort of a Pepsi to the Coke of Final Draft, which we'll get into as our next selection. And Movie Magic Screenwriter has a lot of great features. The first is NavDoc, um, which is, lets you navigate through your document by using four different methods, using an outline, scenes, notes, or bookmarks. The NavDoc lets you uh, see as many lines of, a, of an element as you want, not just the first line or screen heading of a scene, for example. It's got uh, full featured outlining. Uh, screenwriter's outlining feature is completely customizable, including fonts and color controls. You can create multi-depth outlines and customize them on the fly. It also has note categories. Screenwriter lets you create multiple note categories, each with its own text and background color. Uh, this allows the writer to create different types of notes for different purposes. Uh, and uh, it also has the most complete production script feature as well, too. So if again, if that's part of uh, the reason why you need to uh, get a screenwriting program is you also want to know about production uh, as well, too. This does have a nice feature with that. Now, one of my favorite um, features of, of Magic of Movie Magic Screenwriter is the technical support, which is, drum roll, 
free. And they have great technical support. I've used them in the past, and I uh, have nothing but good things to say about them. The other thing uh, I like about Movie Magic Screenwriter is that you can use it with other story screenwriting software like Dramatica Story Expert or Dramatica Pro or Outline 4D, which are all made by the same company. Now, back when I was first writing screenplays, I loved this particular pro these particular programs, and I still have Dramatica Pro on this very computer. Uh, at least I did until the operating system made it so I couldn't use it. And I'll probably make another video with some of these other programs and show you why I found some of these uh, programs helpful and useful in, in early on in my screenwriting career, and I'll probably put that video up at a future date. So again, take a look at this one and try the free versions to see if this is a software is best is a, is a good choice and a good fit for you. Finally, we get to the number we get to number nine and the final boss on our list, which is Final Draft, found at this address here. Typically, this would cost about two hundred forty nine dollars as well. But as of this video time, it's only going for about $149. Now, if you're watching this video in the future, it seems near the end of the year, especially in November, December, that the prices for a lot of these softwares come down quite a bit. So if you can hold off purchasing some of the software until this time frame, you probably get more bang for your buck. I've also noticed that Final Draft seems to have a yearly or every other year update, which normally costs about $100. But again, this time around, it's going for about $60. Now, personally, I wasn't always a big fan of Final Draft. But over the last couple of years, it's added some features that have made Final Draft my screenwriting software of choice. And one of these features is this advanced brainstorming feature. It also has a, another lovely feature called Refine Beatboard. It has limited space to organize your ideas in a customizable visual way. Again, visual for me has been really helpful. It helps you plan set pieces, store character research, and much more. Uh, beats can be anything, plot points, character arcs, research, location ideas. Beats can contain both stylized text and images. Uh, drag content into and from your script and beat board, preserving formatting, uh, color, color code for easy reference and for vibrant, uh, and vibrant palette color. The other thing that I really enjoyed was its new story map. You can connect your beat board ideas to your script. It keeps a track with your visual guideposts for your story. So as again, you can see for me, uh, one of the things that's helpful for me is having a lot of visual um, going on so I can see how the story is sort of laying out visually. Um, and so that's another feature that I've really enjoyed um, with uh, with Final Draft. And that's a relatively new feature, too. I think it's just been back in version 10. It's version 11 right now. But I think version 10, they, I think they were using it. It also has a robust collaboration system, as many of the other programs do. And finally, I just love the nuts and bolts of the word processing part of the program. It's been very easy to use, and I can see myself happy on this program for this platform for a long time. However, Final Draft works for me and my writing process. But the more important question is what works for you. Take a look at these programs. Look at how you work. Are you a more visual writer? Are you part of a working team? What is your budget? What are those features and quality of life do you need as a writer to help make this screenwriting program a tool to help you get your screenwriting and screenplays done? Now, once you find out what works for you, pick out the software that will help you keep on writing. Now, if you have another screenwriting software you really like, put it in the comment section below because I'm always on the lookout for new and exciting software to, to take a look at and to see if it will work better for my writing process. Just remember to keep writing, and I'll see you in the next video.